Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the new Dragon Ball Super Assemble, representatives of the universe's summon banner. So overall, uh, my thoughts on the banner for my review, um, initially if you're just looking for that, is I don't think you should summon on it unless you either like the characters or don't have any of the main units in-game, because even though some of them are really cool, chances of you using them is very low. I think the most viable unit on this banner is Khalifla, and she already had her debut. Um, she's only really viable is because she is a Super Saiyan. She has prepared for battle and she dodges very well, which definitely helps out with the mechanic of the team because the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team is known for their tankiness. The two Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas, you and your friend, the Super Vegito, which counters everything. And then there's all like the, the Vegeta, uh, the actual Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta will have a high defense because of his because of his passive. Or you could run this Kaleeva who dodges a lot. I think it's like a 50% chance of a dodge or something like that. So she's really good for the mechanic of that team. But she's been available for a while. Overall, after that, I think like 17 and uh, Kale may be like the next two runner-ups of this banner. So overall, this is everyone that's here. You have Hit, you have Bergamo, you have Topo, Kale, or Khalifla, Kale, uh, Boo, and 17, and then you have all the SRs. But the one saving grace of this banner, if you want to try your luck for them, is all of the LRs are on this banner. You have Trunks, you have Goku Black, you have uh, Super Broly, or Broly. Uh, Mass Saiyan, which he, actually he's not token exclusive or anything like that. Majin, Vegeta, and LR Gohan. So you have all of them. You could try and summon. Hopefully you get one of them. And you do have the two most recent units of that Vegeta and the Beerus, which are really awesome units. Highly recommend trying to get them. Um, so overall, I think this is a decent battery. Maybe you want to try your luck on it. Go ahead. I, I'm personally saving. I'm not going to summon on it. I'm personally saving, but that's just my opinion. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about the cards, each individual one, and we're going to talk like go over, do an overview, and then talk about who they link best with, and we're going to try and keep it short, all right? So first one is going to be Bergamo, Limitless Power Bergamo, Giant Form. His leader ability is Extreme Type Key, plus 2 HP, Attack and Defense, plus 30%, so a decent leader ability. Decent for brand new players, that is. Super Attack is Dangerous Triangle, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises the defense by 30% for 6 turns. Not horrible, I'm not a big fan of that, plus it's defense, so it's kind of like, eh. He will that tank at some point, but he's an extreme unit, and his links, his link skills, which we'll talk about in a second, aren't really that great for a mono, uh, a mono extreme physical team. Maybe on a universe survival saga team, but that's about it. Uh, his pass is called Bergamo, the Crusher. Attack plus 20% with each attack received, up to 120%. You see, I would find it more worth it if they made it maybe an additional like an another 20%, maybe like 140%, because then it might be a little bit more worth it to try and run him a little bit more often. Uh, but 120% is still really good if you've ever taken out that Beerus for a test ride. He is pretty good. Uh, chance to turn into a grade 8 form when HP is 80% or below. Uh, for a unit like this, I feel like he should have just been chance to turn into a grade 8. I feel like that HP restriction is kind of met. There's no real reason to have it there other than it's there. But it's there. It's well, You can't do anything about it. And he might turn into a giant. If he turns into a giant, it's the same mechanic as the grade 8. He doesn't take any damage. Link skills are Brutal Beatdown, Infighter, Brainiacs, Coward, Transform, and Tournament of Power. Category is Universe Survival Saga and Giant. And he has max stats of HP of 7217, Attack of 7883, and Defense of 5386 with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. He has a 15% 15 chan chance of becoming Giant when HP is 80% or below. Uh, and his max attack is going to be 30,000 when he transforms. Uh, overall, I don't really like this unit. Personally, I would never use him. Um at all honestly maybe on a team for running uh, when we're running the event to do a grind for the kachin metal um, but outside of that i mean we take a look over here let me switch over to my uh, dokkan battle builder view uh, as you see here his best linking buddies is raditz and urine um they're not that great one key with urine brainiacs and infighter and then raditz is three key and ten percent even if we lower this down to like two tooling skills there there are a decent amount of additional units that are extreme units um, they're all kind of whack and old tier. Um, they're, th that's about it. You know, there's really no one here that he links that well with. And I could say you're probably going to run on a team. Um, I'm not going to go over every single one of them. Maybe just, just from what I'm looking at. Uh, this Extreme 17, he is a key orb manipulator, so they might go do well together because they get off some super attacks. They share two key. Um, and actually, I think that's about it for Extreme Physical. Uh, outside of that, he has a couple golden freezes he links well with. He links well with a couple of Golden Freezes. Um, uh, that's really about it. I mean, he, he links well with a couple of people, but two link skills isn't really anything great. 
Uh, so let's move on to the next one. It's going to be the Indomitable Resolve Android 17. He has a leader ability. Um, oh, sorry, let me switch this over here on my... Uh, there we go. Uh, Indomitable Resolve Android 17. His leader ability is Tech Type Key plus 2, HP and Defense plus 70%. Super Attack is Super Electric Strike. Causes Supreme Damage to the enemy and raises attack for 6 turns. Um, actually, I'm usually not a big fan of that mechanic, but... Turns out that his mechanic is a 50% boost. Now, I'm not sure if that was for additional, like, other units in the past. If it is, if you guys happen to know the boost, let me know in the comments below. But I feel like 50% is a ridiculous boost. Uh, so I actually like that in him. Uh, he becomes a lot more viable when you take that into consideration. Passive skill, Rough Ranger. Attack and defense plus 50% plus an additional 12% per tech key orb obtained. Uh, I'm not a big fan that it's tech. If it was just key orb, he would definitely be a lot more viable. But then again, then that would be more of a Doken Fest. Uh, he's still cool, though. Attack and defense right off the bat is awesome, so he'll be tanking a little bit better, and he'll be doing a lot more damage. Um, the 12% key, you could definitely get away as long as you have some key art manipulators in there. Link skills are Android Assault, Twin Terrors, Infinite Energy, Patrol, Shocking Speed, Infighter, and Tournament of Power. Now, he does have a lot of key links in here, so he can definitely get off his supers, which is awesome. Uh, the problem is his link skills are kind of tailored towards that of Androids, which we'll see in a second. The fact that it's all androids means he doesn't have a lot of linking buddies, and because he's a super type, remember how we had that strength Android 18 that I had talked to you guys about earlier? He falls in the same category as that. He is a super android, a super type android, so he doesn't really have a lot of linking buddies except for that strength Android 18, which we're going to show you guys in a minute. Um, category Universe Survival Saga, max stats are HP of 8655, attack of 7452, and defense of 5206 with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Overall, not a horrible unit. Running him on a team, though, um, I have it over here already set up. Let's go over back over, switch over to this view. Um, this is the 18 that I was talking about. Uh, four link skills. Everyone else is three, but everyone else is extreme. Um, so you can't really have him link well with anyone. I mean, you have hit, you have... Oh, this is a super 18. It's this super 18, but this is the one we all got for free. Uh, all allies key plus one attack and defense plus 20%. And 8% attack buff per key orb obtained. She's really not that viable. I mean, she's bay, but you can't really do anything else with her. <laughs> uh, and then you have this one over here, which I don't really find her that useful. Attack plus 50% at the start of the turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when HP is 50% or above. So, I mean, like, for a, a, an actual super team, these two, outside of that, he's not really linking that well with anyone. You know, if, if you're looking at doing extreme, he does have the LR androids. Look, he doesn't even link with three or more with Super 17. What are you going to do with him? I mean, whatever. He, he's cool. Don't get me wrong. I like him. Let's go back over here. Uh, his attack buffs, his attack and defense buff makes him really viable for a team, and that, especially with that super, that passive on his super. Uh, next one we're going to talk about is the Thirst for the Spotlight Majin Buu. They call him Shape Up, but really, let's be honest, he's just Skinny Buu. Uh, leader ability is Agility Type Key plus 3, attack and defense plus 50% when HP is 30% or above. Super attack is Meteor, Shower, Assault, Supreme Damage with Rare Chance to Stun. Passive skill, Motivated Majin, attack plus 80%. Plus, an additional attack and defense was 40% for 7 turns at the start of the turn, which is really not a bad mechanic. 7 turns is kind of whack depending on the event you go up against, but there's very few and far between where 7 turns is going to come up. Link skills are the Innocence, Revival, Brainiacs, Majin, Shocking Speed, and Infinite Regeneration. Now, these are all really tailored towards the Majin category or the Majin um, cards, but he does have some decent links, link linking uh, buddies. Uh, uh, category is Resurrected Warriors and Universe Survival Saga. And max stats are HP of 8116, 7632 for attack and defense of 5251, with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. 12 key multiplier is a little bit whack. He does have a defense like the other two. They, they All of them so far have had some decent defense. Um, his passive skill is not bad. Attack plus 80% unbridled is cool. Uh, so he's getting attack and defense. All oh, attack plus 120% and then an additional 40% uh, defense buff. So he'll tank a little bit better for the first seven turns. Overall, I like the unit. I think he's cool. I wouldn't mind getting him. I probably wouldn't run him because, I mean, he is a super type. I have no real reason to run him. Um, let's go over here and to show uh, who he links best with. Four or more, as you see, the regular standard Majin Boos. These are the same Boos. This guy over here. Then you have the other Fat Boos. Um, in terms of super, this tech one is a super. And that's about it. Everyone, these three are extremes. We can go over here, lower this down to three or more, and you see a whole bunch of other units he links better with. Um, in terms of supers, a whole bunch of the Arales he links with. Um, he links with the Weirus, and everyone else is Boo. So, like, his best linking buddies are Arales, Boos, or the, really specifically the Fat Boos, um, and it looks like Weirus and Janembu, who's technically a Boo. So, really, that's honestly it. Uh, he does link with them, but the only thing about him is he's a super type, 
unit. He's a super unit. Most of these boos are extreme. So again, trying to run him on a team with these guys is going to be difficult. And other than the kid boo who's an agility, there's not that many other agility boos that he's going to link well with for even a mono agility team. If you're looking to do like an extreme slash um, super team to run everyone together. Overall, that's what I'm saying here about this guy. Uh, I don't think he, he's a cool unit. He definitely does some decent damage. He's just uh, like the rest of them. He la he lacks linking buddies, but he does do some decent damage output. So, you know, we'll take that for what you got. Last but not least, Warrior of Freedom Topo. His leader ability is super type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Not bad. Uh, super attack is just as flash, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises super type allies attack by 25% for one turn. Eh, alright, I'll take it. Uh, the leader ability is cool for brand new players. It's not really that good for anyone else. Uh, new players, you guys might help you out a little bit. His passive skill is cutting evil down. Super type allies attack and defense plus 30%. He's a really, really good support unit. Extreme type enemies, defense minus 50%. Another really good thing about him. So he has a really viable passive skill. This super attack skill will never come into play because you'll be using him for attack and defense buff. For super type allies, he is essentially the tech uh, Vegito for super type allies. The tech Vegito is just unbridled, I believe, and I think it's just attack. But he, he has a 30% attack and defense buff, which is really cool. So if you pull him, guys, he's a really good support unit for super type units. Um, he actually might, you know, you might want to run him on a mono super team with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team just because he's going to get all the benefits with the 120 lead. Plus, he's going to help out everyone else on that team. Um, link skills are Supreme Warrior, Signature Pose, Tough as Nails, Hero of Justice, Tournament of Power, and Shocking Speed. And that's kind of where he falls short, like the rest of them. Link skills kind of suck. Category is Universe Survival Saga. He has max stats of HP of 7487, attack of 7596, and defense, wow, 5610, with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. And none of these guys have Dogen Awakenings at this time. Overall, he's a really good unit. I like him, um, but in terms of links, he really kind of sucks. This is three or more. Um, it looks like he has Super Paikuhan, but that's only on the JP side as of right now. And it looks like we have the the actual Baba Shop, Gohan, the little Great Saiyan Man, and the Extreme Hit. Let's actually switch over here to this mode uh, so you can see a little bit better. These are his best linking buddies for three or more. We can switch this down to two. Um, and that, that, that helps out a little bit, but it's just like so many random characters that you're almost never going to have on the same team as him. So it, it's really up to you on how you want to run this. Uh, again, a lot of these units are good for who they are. It's just who they link the best with. And that's what really kind of sucks because you need to base it off of links so that way you get off super attacks. His passive, though, for, for him, he doesn't really need it, Topo. Uh, Boo, his attack is awesome. You just need to make sure at least someone gives him shocking speed. If you can find someone with shocking speed, which is very common on an agility team, you'll be fine. And especially if they have revival, he'll definitely be fine. Uh, this 17... He's very difficult. The shocking speed most of the, um, is really the only thing you could really look for. Uh, you might be able to find it on a tech team a little bit easier than other teams, but uh, good luck. <laughs> and last but not least, Bergamo, which is just good, yeah, really good luck with him because he's an extreme type unit. Uh, yeah, but 17 is my personal favorite just because of his self sacrifice. And outside of that, Topo is really cool for support, and Boo is also really good. Who I would like to have. Uh, unfortunately, you can uh, grind up his super attack. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll catch you all later. Peace.